everyone, I'm Amanda from Mandy Lynn Plans. Welcome back to another monthly plan with me. Today I have August to share with you. Here I have the peach and white floral kit that we have in our shop. I also grabbed the deco. I love using deco all throughout my planner, but especially in the monthly spread. And then I also have a little sneak peek for you. These are going to be released on August 2nd and I already started using them. They are a school countdown. So here I place them at the end of July. School is coming up on August 21st for us. But before we get into the plans, I have three fountain pen inks and I would like your help picking them. I'm also going to be using this design in my weekly spread for my Hobonichi cousin. So I need your help deciding the color. And today, instead of picking ones that match, I went for tones that are a little bit deeper. So here we have a little bit of a deeper green. This is called Sugar Snap. And it does have just a little bit of shimmer. Then we have Gingerbread. So a nice brown color and then fireside snug so it's this orange but it's a deeper orange so go ahead and let me know which color you would like to see me use down in the comments I can't wait to see which one you pick another question I get asked all the time since I don't plan out all of my months ahead of time how do you plan for things when things come up where do you put them in your planner and I like to use these sticky notes here I have the school schedule written out and then the things that I want to make sure that get in my planner I don't like to go and place six months worth of stickers down. That's just a little overwhelming for me. So I like to do it a week or two before the month starts. And as things come up, I can add it to the little sticky note for each month. These sticky notes were in the advent box last year. Work has already begun on the 2024 advent box. More details to come later. But let's go ahead and get started. First, I like to place the stickers that go in the boxes before and after the month. So here I have a long sticker that goes in these boxes. That's the end of July, so it's not quite August yet. So let's put some pretty stickers down. And then here we have September 1st, which is Hobonichi Day. You will be able to buy your new Hobonichis, actually if you're in the United States, the evening of the 31st, so that's really exciting. Sneak peeks will start and I will be posting those in my stories on Instagram and in the Facebook group. They always do a really nice job. Every day there's a little sneak peek in August leading up to the September 1st release. So that's when we find out if they've made any changes to the lineup for 2025. Sometimes they change layouts, sometimes they add options like the hardback Han covers. So we'll get to know all the fun details starting in August. I'm gonna use the white floral strips for my days of the week up at the top. This little rectangle box goes up here to cover that printed navy box. I'm gonna use a couple of my big pattern boxes. One of them I'm gonna put on the first day of teacher in service on the 15th. The next I'm gonna put on the first day of school, which is the 21st this year, there. And then the 26th will be September MLP box day. Looks like I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and place my check strips down next. This is a great place for me to collect my monthly tasks along the sidebar. Then let's go in with these colored date circles. If you want to turn your monthly into a Sunday start, it's great to use these and kind of mix things around. We try to make our monthly kits really flexible so that you can use your planner how you prefer. I feel like I forget this every single month. Okay, I put the three down, but I'm gonna pick it back up and I'm gonna pull out my reusable sticker book and grab these little rectangles. These are slightly colored to match the color of the paper. So if you don't wanna look at those dark gray or red boxes, you can lay them down just like this for all of the weekend and also occasionally there are holidays and the holidays are also red. So I'm gonna cover up this one also. So now I can put my little number three and four. It looks much better. All right, and 31. Now let's go in with some days of the week stickers. And this month goes here. All right, so I'm placing some boxes for my church stickers. And on the 11th, we have an event at our church called Watermelon and Worship. So I have a sticker for that. I believe our appointment is the 27th. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. I think I changed my mind. I think instead of using this box for the first day of school, I think I'm gonna use it for August 
first, which is National Planner Day. So in our Facebook group, we are gonna do a fun little game and the winner or winners of the game will get a special discount to use on their new release order. So we have functional new releases going up on Friday the 2nd. You already saw a sneak of one of those items. We have other countdown sheets coming as well and some other goodies. Details will be in the Facebook group and on Instagram stories. And then on the 16th, we have November new releases. The team is already hard at work on those. I have a planner day sticker, but I forgot to grab one of the little August freebies. So I'll need to put that down whenever I'm back at the office. On August 10th, we have our school work day. So that's a day where parents can come and help the teachers with whatever they need help with in their classrooms. It's also a day to enroll and get your materials. So that's always a fun day to get to see everybody. And then I mentioned we have in-service starting on the 15th. It will go through the 20th. I'm not sure yet which days of that I will be required to attend. So I'm only marking the 15th right now. As I mentioned before, the first day of school is the 21st. And after I get the rest of our plans and events in, I will then go back and put the little countdown. But I got a little distracted. So on the 2nd, we are having, we're calling it a jam night at church to play through some new worship songs. It'll be a great time. Washi of the Month will ship out on the 9th. So if you're a member of the Washi of the Month Club, you will get a sneak peek at the November design. I'm going to go ahead and use a little deco sticker for that. I also want to put one for new releases. Here, I'll pick up that so I can place it over the top. And I already mentioned it, but MLP Box Day for September will be the 26th. I often get asked about our sub boxes and they are not month specific. If anything, the designs are seasonal, but they're never holiday. So the September box doesn't necessarily have to be used in the month of September. You can save it and use it for whichever month you like. This one specifically is not even seasonal. You could use it anytime. The last thing on my list is our parent orientation, and I think it'll be the 22nd. It could also be the 19th. I don't think we have completely nailed down that on the schedule. We will probably figure it out for sure during end service. So now I'm going to work my way backwards and I'm going to put my little school countdown stickers. I'm going to kind of put it in different spots each day. Just kind of put it where it fits. And maybe on the 16th I won't put it at all. Just to mix it up a little each day in case things come up then I have room to put those labels with scripts. Already time to start school shopping and all of the fun things that come with a back to school season. My girls are getting so excited and 20. There we go. There's also a little bit of extra deco down at the bottom so I'm gonna place some more here on the first day just to add a little to the excitement. And then I have a little more for my daily pages. Things, of course, always come up when it gets closer to the month, but this is all that I have to share with you right now. Again, please don't forget to let me know which fountain pen ink you would like to see me use. So here's Sugar Snap, Gingerbread, and Fireside Snug. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.